Hello guys, Ethan here from Ninja HQ. As you can tell, we're here with Buddy Fight. And it's not a match because the camera's facing me. Well, the deck is constantly, so. It is a Depth of Fight of Star Dragon Lord. Inverse Code. Yes, I'm not building Jack. Look at that! An original Star Dragon Lord deck that isn't Jack Knight. Oh my god, it's so amazing. So, for Buddy Bear Inverse Code. We could talk about him here, but let's. But. Uh, should we talk about it? No. We'll wait till we get to the four copies of him. Uh, well, okay, so this is Secret Deck, Secret Flag. Uh, obviously Secret Flag for Tatsuku, because Secret Flag is secret, and Buddy Rare. And Buddy Rare in this card, because in this card good, and it's Buddy Rare. Next we go to Dragon Arms. Two Dragon Arms are Tinnaga, because it works against our Dragon World. And it's um, good in literally every single deck. And you only want two because it's inverse code can search it. That's why inverse code is good. So two to nullify all effects, all abilities of the card in battle. If it's in the soul of a Neo Dragon, um, it nullifies the. And when that Neo Dragon attacks a size two or less, it nullifies the abilities of that card. Mm -hmm. And it has cross nice obviously. So you can call it to field, and then cross nice, or you can cross nice straight from deck using inverse code skill. Uh, two of them because you can search it out. And then we have one at this moment. Otherwise, we're <laughs> two reading armor. If it's in the soul of a Neo Dragon, pin six slice of luck. Rare. If it's in the soul of a Neo Dragon, six life so six life or less, pay a gauge against double attack for this turn. Not bad. It's pretty bad stats. Two bits good, but size of a monster. So you can search it. So the size, the size of these dragon don't really matter. Two transportal. When this card's in the soul of a Neo Dragon and it attacks a monster with soul, uh, choose a card from the soul, put it into drop zone, and uh, and then the battle happens. So if your opponent's only got one card in soul, this card activates went on attack. Get rid of a soul, then the attack goes through, and then you kill the opponent's monster just by using just by having this card in soul. And cost nodes, of course, two, two, three, pretty good stats for size one. Uh, four, two, one, Dragon Arms Cavalier, size one. Um, if it's in the soul of New Dragon, gain penetrate and cost nodes. So penetrate is good for him to score because. Um, penetrate. Um, penetrate is good, obviously, in Star Dragon World because penetrate, and you can nullify your size, your opponent's size two effects. So if they have a monster which nullifies um, penetrate, you can nullify the effect and then just get penetrate anyway. And you can search it. That's why all these dragon arms only run two offs because I can search them all. So I do not need um, other cards. I don't need like mod I don't need like four of say um, Winchester, for example, or like that because I can search them all. So. Search them straight from deck. That's why I'm running two offs. This is why, in case you're thinking that I'm bad, I'm not. It's just simple score conversion. Um, two Winchesco. When this card's in the soul of a Neo Dragon, and your Neo Dragon attacks and deals damage to your opponent. Oh, I just want it deals damage to your opponent, so that can work for effect damage if this card's in the soul of a uh, thing. And this is in the soul of a Neo Dragon. Um, destroy an item on your opponent's field. Cost nice. Okay, stats 3 2 1. It's okay. The stats don't really matter because you're just going to be cost nizing from deck anyway on this deck. Uh, two crits good. Getting that um, killing item is good because if it works with Cavalier, your opponent's trying to stall you and they've got a weapon out and they've got a move card, they move to center, Cavalier's there in the soul and Winchester, you attack, they get penetrate damage and then they get um, the item destroyed because of uh, Winchester. Works pretty well. And then we run two Town Harder. If this card's put in from the drop zone or field into the soul, gain a gauge. You need gauge excel in this deck, that's why I've got quite a few cards that uh, seem bad but you need them in the deck. In um, inverse code dot deck instead of jackknife because you need the the extra soul for inverse code. Three to two, same stats as uh, well not same stats but pretty good stats still. Cross nice effect of course. Two dragon arm slowing. If this card is in the soul of a neo dragon, when your neo dragon attacks, if you don't have a monster in center, gain a gauge. Once per turn, and I don't think it's named once per turn, so you can activate it. If you got two of these in soul, you gain two gauge. Again, it's not really needed, but you can. This card can be searched with um, yeah, it, well. It is needed in the deck because it's inverse code. What am I on about? Um, it does doesn't stack per turns because it's only one per turn. If you got one in there, but like I said, two in the soul. Since it's not once per turn, since it's not named, you can activate both at the same time. Gain two gauge, and that's just the inverse cause effect done straight away. Two SD. I would run. Uh, I think two is an okay number. I might run another if I can get a hold of another. Because Call of Size 2 Neo Dragon from your drop zone on top of this carpet paint, its core cost is very good. Just the fact that you can keep recycling um, uh, your Neo Dragons is really good. Now, because of its stats 2 1 3 and the fact it's size 1, you can hit by any um, removal. So, and because of its active ability, you can activate the effect. Your opponent then can kill it before you get this, uh, the, the Neo Dragon on top of it, which is a problem. But it's really good if it gets off and you get an extra soul for your Neo Dragon. 
Judging about soul, star lumen, star dragon, or luminous blue. Size one, uh, one to uh, one. This card gets one thousand power for it and defense for each card on the for each soul in cards on your field. So inverse card having a million soul because of its effect. This card gets a thousand for each card in the soul. And when this card attacks, you may put a monster from your drop zone into the soul of a neo dragon on your field. So that includes himself, which is so he also has soul guard. So it includes himself, which is okay for the first attack, keeping getting the soul guard. So your opponent either has to attack him, otherwise he's going to keep getting your soul for inverse card. Or your opponent could just leave him and then he keep getting buffed. Um, or it can be any Neo Dragon, so if you've got size 2, anything else, it can go yeah. into the soul of that. So that's good. Next, we run free Quantum Ruler, because Gage Excel and Draw Power. Only a double because I've not made him any. 4 1 1, decent stats, size 1. The fact that you can gain a gauge and draw is really, 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 really good. That's why you run free and not 2. Uh, Elk Cannon. Is really good. It's size two. That doesn't matter because you're not going to customize this anyway. You can if you customize it into luminous blue, but you're going to use it inverse cost to, go to get it into the soul, or use a mega big bang in from drop zone into soul. Um, it's in the soul. Two k, two k power and a crit. Four two five size two is a pretty good um, stats in my in my opinion. So it's pretty good as a first k swinger, as a first turn swinger. Just swing it as five k body. Then your opponent has to get over that. If and don't forget luminous blue for it as well. If it's in that's what I said. Oh, yep. Uh, next, I uh, back up Neo Dragon because Inverse Cord is very heavy. So, a gauge. This guy I thought was two gauge, but he's even better because he's only one gauge and a card from Drop Zone into Stall. Any card as its um, core cost. So, one gauge um, with the 5 to 5 really good stat, Soul Guard, size 2, um, with the activability of put a Dragon Arms from this card Soul into Drop Zone. If you do, destroy a card, you only use it once per turn. But destroy a card on your opponent's field is really good. Just pop an item, pop a set spell. Um, pop a card remove, then just swing with this to 5 to 5. It's so good, especially in conjunction with another card that we'll be getting up to later as a first turn card. Next, we have four of the buddy Inverse Storm, Inverse Six Omni Storm Lord Catastrophe card. This card is an Omni Lord, pay two gauge, top card of deck into the soul, so that's really good. 7 3 2, decent stats. And size two monster, act pay two gauge. If you do, search for a card for a deck, a card, put it into this card's soul and shove your deck. This isn't a once per turn, so it can have it multiple times. It has move and soul guard. The fact that his move is really good because you can play aggressive with an open center. Size one there, just swing, because you keep swinging each turn, and then just move. So your opponent has to get over this, and they can't just swing at you. So you don't need that many shields in the deck. Really good card. Only one Dragon Arms uh, main force, great Dragon Arms, because I do not have Sonic Blast. 4-3-6, really good. Pretty good stats at 6k defense. Size 3 monster, 2 gauge to call. If it's in the soul of a Neo Dragon, that next time the Neo Dragon will be destroyed. Pay a gauge. If you do, that card's not destroyed. Mains on the field. Only use it once per turn to select cross noise. The gauge excel. 2 automatic save. I wouldn't want more because it's pretty bad in its own unless you have monsters. Basically, you gain a gauge for each card, each monster on the field. 2 monsters. Gain 2 gauge. If you have size 0 on the field with 2 size 2 and size 1, it's 3 gauge. 3 size 1s, etc. 3 gauge. Really good for setting off the card, setting off the deck. Next, two way of memory. Only cast it for five life or less. Spell card, gain, uh, pay a gauge, draw two. Draw power is always good. Best Symphony, uh, basically Best Symphony, or what's that one for five life or less that you like to draw two for Dragon World? Yeah. Nah. But it's not Best Symphony because it's five life or less, not six. Next, right. two star alternate. This is the most broken card ever in Star Dragon World, ever at all. Because basically, pay a gauge, choose a monster in the soul of a Neo Dragon on your field. Call it on top of the Neo Dragon monster on your field, and again, and um, by payment it's score cost. So you can go from inverse core, which has bad defense, pay the call this, go into Big Bang that's in the soul of, of um, core that you got from the top of the deck, um, due to its core cost, and then that basically you're on the 5 to 5 monster. So if one only has cards that can get over core's defense but not um, Big Bangs, use this to get into Big Bang, or if your opponent just tries to destroy core with a soul effect or anything like that, cast this. Change into thing, change into um, any of Neo Dragon. The effect end, the spell ends because the target is gone. You can also go use this to get um, graduation ruler from the soul on top of it, and because of the Neo Dragon with a soul, include, which can include itself, you gain a gate and draw. Join your opponent's turn, which is really got really good. Next, free fate information. Obviously, it's pretty much just a search and a mill engine for both Big Bang and Cord. Pay a gauge, reveal the top three cards of your deck. So yes, you have to show your opponent. Put up to one size two or less monster or item from among them into your hand, which is pretty much 80% of the deck. Um, if you do, you may pay the and the rest go to drop zone. So one of those three cards goes to hand if it's size two or less or an item, and the rest go to drop. So if you if the rest are dragon's arms, then it fuels the drop zone for Big Bang, which is good. 
Next, one of the second most broken cards in the deck, Spectrum Body. This card is not limited to Neo Dragons. And it's not limited to anything really, just drawing an attack. You can only cast this card drawing an attack on a size 2 or less monster. Uh, without a soul on your field. So, Big Bang, after it's used its skill once. Um, any, any Neo Dragon that you decide to, any Dragon Arms that you decide to call first turn and swing, just cast this. Counter, put it back to the hand, gain a gauge. The more gauge you excel, and he's monsters alive. Next, uh, over Nullify, I own 4 Sonic Move, because this can protect your monsters in Star Dragon World, which is good, because even though I don't move with Cord sometimes, <coughs> they still attack Cord. So I decided to run Sonic Move so I can protect Cord, even if I don't move, if they just attack Cord. That's the good thing about Cord, it's because people are scared of its effect, they keep getting the new dragons, They can it just kills them off, which is, um, they just attack that instead of me, they just cast this, then waste an attack. And it also stops link attacks, which is also good as well. Next, four Soul Cannon. Uh, item, pay a gauge, when it's 5 2, item, pay a gauge, when this card attacks, you may pay the card, you may put a soul from the Neo Dragon on your field into your drop zone. If you do, for this turn, it gets 2000 power and penetrate. So it's a 7 2 with penetrate, which is really good because you can, you can have um, Luminous Blue with penetrate, Inverse Cover with penetrate, and this with penetrate on the same turn. So if your opponent's got Omni down the field, that's massive amounts of penetrate. That's why I run this guy over the 5 3 pay gauge on life because it's just so much better and more utility. Get rid of the Neo Dragons if you don't have Star Alternate in hand, etc. etc. It's really good. Anyway, this has been my Star Dragon World Deck Profile for Inverse Code. Make sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Um, follow us on Facebook at TeamGHQ, Twitter, TeamGHQ YouTube. And as always, happy gaming.